If we don't show up tomorrow, it is entirely possible that we will not have the opportunity to ever cast a ballot again. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Right. Um, and nobody was really bothering to explain it to me. They don't. <clears throat> and, it, it, and I formed a bunch of opinions about the town. Mel Gibson consistently makes headlines, whether through his interviews or his provocative views on Hollywood's hidden truths. My special guest tonight is a Hollywood superstar, dynamic, versatile, and gold dust at the box office. Welcome, please, Mel Gibson. 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 Hey, that's me. I have a belief in something greater than me, because if I'm God, we're all in deep, deep trouble. <laughs> yeah, I won't make good decisions. But this time, he's unleashed a shocking revelation that has taken everyone by surprise, placing one of the most influential figures in the world, Oprah Winfrey, directly in the eye of the tempest. What's the intriguing link between Mel Gibson and Oprah? Well, it's not what you'd expect, and it might just change the way you see them both. However, prior to delving into the startling allegations surrounding Oprah, it's essential to take a moment to consider why Mel Gibson is currently in the spotlight for his stance. I imagined that stuff. That couldn't be the reason for why so-and-so was acting like, could it? Mm -hmm. And then you find out later on the track that you are exactly on track mm -hmm. with a lot of this stuff. Not specifically on no. track, but that you could that some of your worst nightmares were real at the time. During the 80s and 90s, Mel Gibson was an undeniable megastar. However, his career plummeted in the 2000s, driven by a series of scandals. His 2006 DUI arrest and the comments made during it positioned him as a figure of significant debate. The leaked audio tapes from his personal life intensified the situation, nearly obliterating everything he had built. However, in recent years, Mel Gibson has experienced a change that many would find surprising. He has chosen to maintain a more subdued presence, concentrating on initiatives that align closely with his convictions and principles. One of the most debated examples is his backing of Sound of Freedom, a film that brings attention to the illicit transportation of innocent children. Gibson hasn't merely commended the film. He's also positioned himself alongside initiatives aimed at combating trafficking. Step in eradicating this crime is awareness. The next topic, Sound of Freedom. Have you seen the movie yet? So a lot of people have asked me this. Yeah. Uh, as a new mom, I don't think I can emotionally handle it. Okay. Just because of That's the fair. subject matter. And I, I, I cry during Pixar movies. I'd be a total mess. <laughs> you could uh, bet some of your worst night. He has collaborated with Tim Ballard, a former Homeland Security agent, to highlight the troubling issue of exploitation faced by vulnerable populations. Gibson has expressed his awareness of hidden networks within Hollywood, asserting that there exists a sinister aspect of the industry that exploits the vulnerable. While many people initially dismissed his claims as conspiracy theories, his dedication to exposing these systems through advocacy, philanthropy, and reported financial support for documentaries has made people take notice. This redemption arc has provided Gibson with a unique opportunity to address topics that many shy away from and he is unapologetically candid. But what is the connection to Oprah Winfrey? To grasp this, we must examine the intricate relationships among the most influential figures in Hollywood. I think it is moving forward. I think that uh, light has definitely been shone into the dark regions and uh, it's painful, but it's a necessary thing for change. From uplifting interviews on the Oprah Winfrey show to her charitable initiatives like the Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa, Oprah has emerged as a global symbol of hope and opportunity, yet her journey has not been without its share of challenges. Throughout the years, she has encountered significant criticism for her associations with individuals such as Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein both of whom are notorious for their involvement in Hollywood's most troubling controversies. Despite her public denunciation of their actions, photographs of her alongside them at various events have ignited speculation regarding the depth of their connections, 
One of the most talked about chapters associated with Oprah's name involves Joao Teixeira de Feria, more commonly known as John of God. This Brazilian spiritual healer, whom Oprah showcased on her show, was subsequently convicted of heinous crimes, including human trafficking. And the message, and I think for any sane person, is that they should hate war, but uh, one must have love and compassion for the warrior. And um, these guys are suffering at the moment, so I hope, uh, if anything, this film can sort of highlight the, uh, the difficulties and the issues that our veterans are having at the mm -hmm. moment, because they're difficult. Oprah stepped back from the controversy, yet there are those who scrutinize her involvement in elevating him to an international platform. Now, even Oprah's philanthropic ventures have faced their share of scrutiny. Her South African girls' school, once celebrated as a pioneering initiative to uplift young women, has been overshadowed by serious allegations concerning the involvement of staff members. While Oprah attempted to tackle the problems, the event continues to cast a shadow over her legacy. As her associations with polarizing individuals come to light, questions arise. Is Oprah truly the symbol of hope we perceive her to be? Or is there a deeper narrative at play? Mel Gibson's recent assertions imply that Epstein's network encompassed not only influential men, but also women who were crucial in upholding its illusion. Epstein's widely known black book featured the names of numerous prominent figures, igniting a firestorm of debate regarding the extent of their involvement in his illicit activities. Among those names was Oprah Winfrey, a figure often at the center of heated discussions. Although there is no direct evidence linking her to Epstein's unlawful actions, the connection has certainly sparked interest, particularly considering her relationships with other contentious individuals. Mel Gibson has suggested that some of Hollywood's prominent figures, such as Oprah, may have been involved in actions that took advantage of vulnerable individuals. Whether through complicity or by turning a blind eye, these allegations imply that the individuals we hold in high regard might be entangled in something far more sinister. And yet this is merely a fragment of the larger reality. I wanted to leave. And because I knew that I didn't want to work with him. Yeah. And he was getting scary. Yeah. I think he's a, he's a very intense, very unusual, eccentric guy. Like just being around him. You, you you get this sense of his energy. It's like it's all over the place. Like Riggs even from, now, yeah, even yeah, now, yeah, yeah, from Lethal yeah, Weapon. I don't have that. Like a lot of that, I think, probably came like that. That character probably came from like the dark inner workings of Mel Gibson's mind. What Gibson is unveiling has the potential to alter our perception of some of Hollywood's most beloved figures. Hollywood has long been synonymous with glitz and glamour. Yet beneath the surface of the flashing cameras exists a far more troubling reality. In recent decades, a concerning trend has surfaced, revealing the exploitation occurring among those in positions of authority. Individuals such as Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby represent not just isolated cases, but rather a glimpse into a much larger and troubling reality that has been hidden beneath the glamorous facade of Hollywood for years. For every public takedown, there are numerous untold stories of silence maintained through NDAs, intimidation, and the significant power disparity between Hollywood elites and aspiring individuals in the industry. Victims, particularly young women and aspiring artists, frequently find their voices stifled before their narratives can emerge into the open. Films such as Sound of Freedom have sought to reveal the hidden realities of this troubling culture of exploitation. The film, focused on revealing the dark realities of illegal child transportation, encountered numerous challenges before finally reaching the big screen. Numerous advocates assert that these obstacles were not mere happenstance, pointing to the pushback as evidence of the profound nature of these problems within Hollywood. However, the film's surprising success has revealed that viewers are prepared to confront the reality, regardless of how unsettling it may be. The message is unmistakable. Exploitation is not merely an issue confined to far-off places. It's unfolding sooner than many realize, and the entertainment industry could very well be involved. But if Hollywood is a stronghold, then who is protecting its mysteries? Mel Gibson is convinced he possesses certain insights. The filmmaker has stirred up significant attention with daring allegations, placing Oprah Winfrey in the spotlight of his assertions. He suggests that the elite circles backing figures like Jeffrey Epstein and Harvey Weinstein are more intertwined with other Hollywood icons than many would prefer to acknowledge. Now, if you recall, 
one of the most unexpected claims against Oprah emerged from singer Seal, who made a peculiar Instagram post in 2018 accusing her of being involved in shielding Hollywood's sinister aspects. Pop singer Seal has launched an attack against Oprah, accusing her of knowing about disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein. He sent the following meme on Instagram, which reads, when you're part of the problem for decades, but suddenly they all think you are the solution. Seal then wrote the hashtag, Sanctimonious Hollywood. Though Oprah has denied such allegations, her past associations with polarizing figures have only added Mel Gibson's claims delve into a more complex narrative, implying that Oprah's philanthropic endeavors could have ulterior motives beyond mere charity. They might serve as a safeguard for more questionable associations. For instance, her endorsement of John of God, who was later revealed to be a predator, still provokes significant scrutiny. Although there is no credible proof linking Oprah to any misconduct, Mel Gibson claims that her name frequently comes up in the narratives he's encountered regarding Hollywood. Meanwhile, fans' reaction to these allegations has been polarizing. A person remarked, Oprah Winfrey's time is over. Finally, it's happening. Another individual remarked, Oprah, share your experiences in Haiti. A third person added, the increasing attention on projects such as Sound of Freedom and investigative documentaries highlights a significant cultural change. Audiences are fed up with superficial appearances and crave authenticity. Films that reveal corruption, exploitation, and power dynamics are resonating deeply, igniting discussions about our choices in celebration and the reasons behind them. At the same time, the demands for openness in Hollywood are becoming increasingly intense. As additional narratives emerge, the facade of the industry is beginning to show signs of wear. Likewise, Mel Gibson's path from tumult to support has been quite a ride. Once recognized for his tumultuous public persona, he now finds himself embroiled in a story that transcends mere Hollywood controversies. In his quest to reveal corruption and highlight the trafficking crisis, Gibson encountered numerous challenges, ultimately uncovering some of the most hidden and unsettling truths within Hollywood. When I came over here, I was, oh God, I was in my, my uh, mid-twenties the first time I really came over here. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand and nobody was really bothering to explain it to me. And I formed a bunch of opinions about the town and about the people in it that were like, surely that couldn't be because a whole place can't be like, you know, weird town, you know, where the stranger wanders in and and all the people are in the bar and they all shut up when he looks at him and mm -hmm. they tell you don't go out of the house on the hill. And it's like that. Mm -hmm. And then you go away and you think, no, that's, I was wrong. I mean, that's insane thinking. I'm paranoid. I imagined that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you find out later on the track that you are exactly on track, that some of your worst nightmares were real. And you think, <gasps> Regarding Oprah, the question of her culpability in the accusations or if she is just another public figure ensnared in a broader controversy is still up for debate. What cannot be overlooked, however, is that these allegations have ignited a wider dialogue about the concealed truths that persist within the entertainment industry. The revelations surrounding Hollywood's influence and unethical practices are gradually coming to light, and those who were once beyond reproach are beginning to encounter increased examination. As the world remains vigilant, it is evident that transformation is in progress. With the emergence of anti-trafficking initiatives and the bravery of individuals who have put everything on the line to reveal the reality, there is an undeniable feeling that a significant shift is underway. The inquiry at hand extends beyond merely uncovering what's concealed in Hollywood. It raises the pressing issue of how much longer these truths will linger in obscurity. What do you think about the allegations surrounding Mel Gibson? Do you think Oprah's relationships are as profound as Gibson suggests? Share your thoughts in the comments below.